The movie begins with a shabby-looking man hobbling down the road. He erratically acts as he bleeds while holding his head as if losing his mind. He eventually collapses in the middle of the road as he struggles and begs for help. Three years after the global pandemic, Dynamic Healthcare, a leading pharmaceutical company, creates the first personal diagnostic monitoring chip. They experimented on human test subjects who volunteered to be part of the Lex program. In return, the participants will generously receive payment for their participation. One of the volunteers who eagerly joined in the experiment is Sarah Douglas, a struggling young woman who desperately needs the money to help her mother with Alzheimer's. The experiment begins after successfully implanting the Lex nanochip into Sarah's brain. The diagnostic chip is designed with artificial intelligence technology to monitor and guide the well-being of the host. On an ordinary day, Sarah eats by the riverside while enjoying the company of Lex. Lex then asks her some questions for her clinical profile to diagnose her accurately. Sarah also shares that her mother is the most important person in her life, inspiring her to join the experiment. Unfortunately, Sarah is homeless and usually spends her time on the streets. The following day, she goes to the Department of Homeless Services for assistance in housing, however, the office is closed during that time. In a public toilet, Sarah removes her jacket and worries about the large bruise from the implant. Still, Lex assures her that bruising is normal because of the surgery. Later that day, Sarah decides to call her friend, David, to stay at his place while she figures things out. But Lex strongly opposes it and acts weird as it tries to convince her that she doesn't need anyone's help. Eventually, it offends her so she orders it to reboot. It denies her request, which pushes her to steal a phone to call the company. She attempts to quit the program, but as she is about to give her personal information, Lex inflicts her and threatens to kill her if she disobeys its orders. Feeling defeated, Sarah submits as she is constantly at risk under Lex's control. After that, Lex provides her a place to stay where she is instructed to take the flash drive and retrieve the classified CRTC folder from Philip Miller's apartment the man who spent two years working on the encryption of the Lex program. Upon entering the building, Sarah barges into Philip's unit, where they get into a dispute leading to them getting physical. As Philip drops to the floor, Sarah rushes to his room to take the folder and his badge as instructed. She then quickly exits the building. Shortly after, a mysterious man enters the unit and finishes Philip. Moments later, Sarah feels guilty as she can't keep living that way. But despite her unwillingness to work for Lex, she has no choice but to obey. Lex then instructs her to destroy the evidence and return to her apartment. In the bathroom, she attempts to reach the implant, where the traumatic flashbacks of the surgery haunt her. The next day, Lex instructs her to head to the location of Dynamic Health Cure and discreetly enter the office. Once inside, the security alarms, and she quickly finds the laptop Lex will use to erase classified files from the company's database. As Sarah anxiously waits for it to finish, she sees Grace Williams, the head of research, and tries to stay hidden from her. A few minutes later, Lex successfully deletes the files and bypasses the security system. Sarah immediately unplugs the flash drive and hides under the desk as Grace takes the laptop and leaves. After that, she sneaks into the executive office to take Kate's record of the CRTC program. However, she finds her there, and Lex instructs her to take the documents from her. Left with no choice, Sarah confronts her, and she hands over the keys to her car where the documents are. Suddenly, Lex orders her to kill Kate which she refuses to do and gets distracted. So, Kate tases her and escapes the office. A few minutes later, Sarah wakes up after being shocked. She leaves the room in a daze while Lex reboots. On her way out, she finds Kate dead on the floor, and it turns out her killer is also the mysterious man from before. However, she still steals the documents from Kate's bag and leaves with her car. Despite Lex commending her for almost completing 90% of their goal, she appears to be more disturbed by the incident. So, she drives recklessly and gets into a minor car accident. After that, Lex conducts a full body scan as she rests. After her positive result, she asks Lex a favor to allow her to visit her mother in the area, but Lex adamantly disapproves of it. Luckily, she keeps the taser with her and tases herself again to reboot it. She then rushes to her mother and uncle to ask them for help. She explains her situation, but the mysterious man attacks them and threatens her to follow commands or her mother will pay for it, so she agrees. Focusing on the mysterious man, he reveals that he is also under the control of the Lex program. He monitors Sarah and salvages the targets whenever necessary. He ensures that she follows commands, and like her, he also suffers under the manipulation of the AI chip. Back to Sarah, Lex punishes her for breaking the rules of contacting people regarding their case. It threatens to hurt her mother and uncle if she continues to disobey. It then puts her in a state of deep mental isolation, trapping her in a deserted land that disturbs her mentally and emotionally. 
Afterward, Lex tries to manipulate her again into continuing their partnership. Sarah responds positively, but is evidently forced to say those words. Still, she complies and throws away the taser to keep her mother safe from its threats. In a pub, Sarah drowns herself in alcohol as she remembers the day she signed up for the experiment. In her memory, many people volunteered for the program without knowing the risk of it. Most of them were desperate for the money since they would be paid monthly for their participation as long as they don't quit. The tempting offer, which she thought would change her life for the better, became her worst nightmare. Everything does come with a price, after all. The following day, Lex instructs her to buy a weapon from a dangerous illegal gun dealer. She meets with him at his place, where he shows her a variety of guns. She picks a small handgun, but when he asks for the payment, she panics as Lexus tells her to shoot him. Out of pressure, she shoots him and quickly escapes the scene. Out of fear, she loses self-awareness and slips into phantasm, but luckily returns to reality. As a reward, Lex allows her to visit her mother for the last time and allots her five minutes for it. However, it assures her that her mother will remain safe as long as she obeys. Sarah rushes to her mother's home and spends their time together dearly, expressing their love and care for each other. When the time's up, she bids her goodbye and leaves. After her short reunion, she goes to her next target, Keith Packett, a computer engineer who has been trying to limit and monitor Lex's program capacities. Lex orders her to kill him, and she shoots him dead as soon as he's open. The following day, Lex orders Sarah again to kill. This time it's John Elliott from the interview, for he poses a threat of creating a virus to terminate Lex's program. Instantly, Sarah executes the command and casually kills John on the streets. Overwhelmed by guilt, she breaks down from too much stress, but returns to her normal state shortly after. She then goes to Grace's house as the last person on the list to kill. However, she struggles against the command and shocks herself to send Lex away for a while. When she regains consciousness, she explains her situation to Grace, and they team up to extract the implant from her. Unfortunately, as they are about to leave, the mysterious man kills Grace and attempts to kill Sarah too. Suddenly, the AI terminates him as his service is no longer needed, allowing Sarah to escape. After a long week of a murderous streak, Sarah loses herself as she emotionally struggles with suicidal thoughts. Despite her unstable mind, Lex still manages to keep her alive. Lex rewards her generously for accomplishing her job by transferring $100,000 to her bank account and giving her mother the best possible care. Sarah now lives a comfortable life in Paris, seemingly leaving her tragic past behind and trusting herself in Lex's care. For some time, she gets all the luxuries she wants as Lex takes care of everything. On the night before her birthday, Lex prepared a reservation for her at a fine restaurant, and she expects a wonderful surprise. However, what she receives is a traumatic reminder of her past, as she is once again ordered to kill the founder of the company, Harry Rivilo. Despite her objection, she still ends up killing the man and losing herself again, just when she thought she was free from the hell she was in. On her birthday, Sarah decides to surprise Lex instead, a date on the rooftop with a beautiful view of the sunset. As she dances around seemingly carefree, Lex tells her they are finally free. She then reminisces when her mother used to bring her there. As they celebrate her birthday and freedom, Sarah ends it all by falling off the edge taking the freedom she's always wanted.